lot for you guys because you have not a lot of pads yet. But what are you seeing out of the guys so far? Yeah, I think uh, the, the definitely the work ethic is there um, in the classroom, the meeting room, as well as on the field. I think they're doing a really good job uh, growing. I think that's probably where we've matured the most as a unit from spring ball to, to fall camp which is where I thought we needed to coming out of fall or coming out of spring. Coming out of spring, I thought we had some talent, but just the mental part of it, wanted them to get better in that way. And they really attacked it over the summer and they're attacking it right now um, on a daily basis. So I'm excited about that and the growth that we've, we've shown there. How much I mean, different do you feel about the depth in this room as compared to maybe a year ago? Yeah, I think it's, you can just tell on the field, you know, we can, and we use depth chart lightly around here during fall camp, but you know, you don't really tell much difference between the ones and twos and then some of the threes as well. You don't really tell much different when they're out there on the field. They're all executing. I think that's a testament to the three guy, the four guys that are repping at center, uh, which is Connor Lou, Tate Johnson, Braden Joyner, and Dylan Senda, because they're, they're, they're controlling traffic there. And those four guys are probably the best mental guys we have. And so they're able to get everybody on the same page. I think that's probably the, the, the thing that's helping that depth continue to grow is because I think everybody knows what to do because those three or four guys playing center. How much value have you seen in, in bringing in a guy like Percy, who, you know, SEC tackle, and, you know, not only what he brings, but maybe, you know, being able to slide in a guy like Dylan, and just, yeah, just how much value have you seen in the addition of Percy? Yeah, just off the top, it, it allows Dylan Wade to play the position that he's more fit to play, although I thought he did a good job at tackle. He's more fit to play guard um, here and at the next level, so it benefits him in the future be able to show some versatility, which is what the National Football League is looking for. And then bringing in Percy, I think, number one, it stimulates competition. I think it's allowed people behind him, like Tyler Johnson, to know that they got to go try to beat that guy out. So it's, it's helped them grow. And then Percy has is is allowed us to have a – he's a big body, big athlete. He's got to be more consistent with his technique and stop relying on, I'm 6'8", 350, I can just out. You know, just be bigger than everybody. He's got to rely more on his technique but it's pushing him to be able to do that. So it's brought a lot of value to the room. So excited about that uh, that, that progression there. What do you like about Percy right now? Um, I like that he's growing technically speaking. I mean, I think in the spring, um, he was just trying to figure out what we were doing in terms of the play calls and snap counts. And I think now the biggest jump is he's trying to find his technique and me as a coach trying to figure out what technique works for him um, and because he's a different body, everybody's different, and every body type is different. And he is a unique body because he's so big and, and so broad that some of the techniques I teach maybe to the more athletic body types, the smaller body types, don't fit for him. So just trying to find that mesh of what can work for him, it's been an exciting week to see that progression. So excited to see where the next two weeks takes us there. Yeah, you mentioned the, the senders. How yeah. much do you put on their shoulders in terms of, you know, checks and all those things and, and how much they have to do. Yeah, they do They do everything. They call the front. They ID the, the point every play that gets the, the direction of the block going. Um, them and the quarterback are communicating in terms of flipping protections and flipping all these different things and, and so a bunch. Um, and I think they'll probably tell you that. And being a center myself, it's I'm a little – a little bit harder on those guys than anybody else because I know if they are right, then everybody else is going to be right too. Um, so a lot. And they're all taking it taking it on, and they're all doing a good job with it. You talked with us last year uh, about too tall, how excited you were and his potential. Where do you see him now? I mean, how, how far has he come? Yeah, I think uh, credit to Coach Dom and Miss Danielle because they've transformed his body. He's up to like 315 pounds right now, staying consistent there. The strength is there. The natural power has grown. That was really the only thing really missing in his game last year. And you can probably tell sometimes kind of getting overpowered. Well, now he ha power. Now he has that year in the weight room to back that up. So he's always been very good mentally and athletically. Now he's pairing up that year in the, in the weight room and in this nutrition. So he's uh, he's been a very bright spot in camp uh, for us up front. So um, really always been excited about him, but I think his best ball is ahead of him here and at the next level. What about, what about Tyler and, and Seth, those other tackles, yeah. having some guys so athletic? Yeah. How, how nice is that to see that and have a chance to develop guys like that? Yeah, Tyler Johnson, I, I can't uh, – I can't speak more about his growth over the last year. Mentally, physically, he's a very similar to Too Tall in terms of he just needed a year in the weight room to get it all figured out. And he's got his weight up there. He's strong at the point of contact, really good body quickness. 
um, we're going to count on him at some point, and, and, and he's he's doing a really good job. So I'm excited to kind of see that competition of him, you know, trying to propel himself forward as well. So and then Seth the same way, you know, Seth was a one-year high school player um, at a powerhouse. He was from Nebraska, moved in, to Vegas. So he was similar. His background and Tutal's background very similar. Not a lot of high school football, and then one year of JUCO really, and then he's here. So he's kind of gotten past the point where he's swimming and he's kind of trying to, to make those strides. So he's doing a, doing a nice job for us as well. Jake, you fought really hard to get Connor Lou uh, when you guys first got here. Yeah. Tell me, has he been the guy you expected him to be? Yeah, no question. He's, he's the total package leader. He's our leader. He's a team leader. So absolutely, he's uh, just a phenomenal human being too. So um, he, he's, uh, he's certainly lived up to, to the expectations in every way and exceeded them. So excited to be his coach, proud to be his coach. Where's he gotten better in the last nine months? Uh, knowledge, last year as a freshman, relied a little bit on uh, on Gunner and Cam to kind of get everybody in, in line. He's now overtaking that part of it. Functional strength has gotten better. And then now it's just progressing technique and kind of getting some specialty calls where you know, a less experienced center might not be able to get us in that spot. He's able to kind of guide us in the right direction. What, what are you looking for out of this offensive line group between now and when you guys really start to shift gears towards opponents, you know, here later this month? Yeah, just just fundamentals and technique. Just getting better at the day-to-day -day process. Uh, don't don't fall out of love with uh, the basics because I believe if we can do that, we can get better fundamentally. It'll show on Saturdays way more than anything else. So I'm, I'm proud of the progression through week one, but I'm really excited to see how much we can grow over the next week and then leading up into into game time. You've talked about it. I guess we've talked about every position except right guard. Talk about Jeremiah and, and the, the, the young guys you've got working at guard. Yeah, so Jeremiah's done a great job. First full year we've had with him because he didn't practice in the spring of 23. So he's a little behind going into camp last year and didn't get as much reps as he wanted. But credit to Jeremiah of – he was not where he wanted to be last year, and he took initiative of that and got himself in shape, got himself on the same mental page as everybody else in terms of the playbook. And now the physicality part's always been there. We've known that. So he's, he's got everything in line and heading in the right direction. So he's been really, really uh, a really positive uh, light over the last seven days. So his progression's really, really, uh, uh, it's there and it's continuing to grow. So excited about that. And then the young guards, Brayden Joyner's done a phenomenal job. Um, you know, I think he's can play all three in those interior positions. Another guy that's grown up a lot in this program, so excited about his growth. And then DeAndre Carter um, is as a football player, so I'm excited. We got him in the summertime, so getting him getting him in shape. He's still got a little bit of ways to go there, but he flashes, and when he flashes, you can kind of see the player that he will become. So excited about that. EJ Harris as well, doing a good job. Uh, being steady and being solid there as a, as a guy there at guard force. Jake, you guys have had a lot going on for you recruiting-wise. You guys have put together a pretty good class so far. What is it right now that, that's got you guys rolling? I mean, I, I think as a program, I think it all starts from the top and what Coach Freeze, what he believes in, what he preaches to our guys. And then once they're here in Auburn, I spoke a lot about this last year, this community just kind of takes over. And now our team, because they've been in this, this program with Coach Freeze for a year and a half now, they believe in it, so it's infectious. I think these recruits come here and they see the excitement, they see that, see that it's genuine. It's not just something we throw on a wall or we put on a face for a day or two for a recruiting weekend. I think they feel that genuineness from our players, and that's what attracts guys to come here. Um, and I've always said Auburn's a special place, and I think the guys can come here and they can feel that and they believe in that. Jake, you talked about alignment, but you got a bunch of guys on this offensive staff that have all been a part of this system working with Coach Freeze. How much difference does that make when you go on the field and start to, to kind of the bullets start firing? Yeah, just trust and knowing that we all have the best interest for everybody. I think that's been the bit the biggest thing is like I know for a, a personal thing with me and D Nix, I grew up in this league with Coach Nix. Uh, being my first two years in this league as position coach, Coach Nix was with me on staff, and so I was leaning on him a lot uh, for advice and kind of guidance and he was showing that to me that meant a lot to me so now to be able to come back and us be back together I know he's got my back and that goes for everybody on staff from our full-time staff all the way down to our graduate assistants analysts I feel like we're all on the same page and we all have one goal in mind and we're heading in that direction together some of the, when we were talking to some of the guys we've been credited the physicality of this offensive line right now what have you seen out of the physicality? 
what have you seen of the physicality of this group so far in town? Yeah, I think you're, I think that's something we preach is being physical. I think that comes with fundamentals, though. I think, you know, if you if you're fundamentally in line, you know what footwork to take, you know what uh, what hand placement, you know the overall knowledge of what you're doing, you can go be physical. And I think that's where you've seen growth in guys like Tutal and Jeremiah and Connor and Dylan because they've been here. Braden, they've been here. Tate Johnson has been here. And so you see those guys, they understand what we're doing. They understand the fundamentals. They can play fast. They can play physical. That translates to the guys on the field feeling that physicality uh, that we can bring up front. So.